Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Minecraft. So today we are joined here on our beautiful porch, on our beautiful back porch, because we have some things to do. Now, um, if you remember the last episode, we built this uh, this little building here. It looks pretty fancy, pretty nice. I like it. I'm actually proud of myself for doing something that doesn't look like absolute trash, but. We got more things to do. So um, I was going to work on the aquarium today. Um, I wanted to go ahead. I want to get an aquarium put in like right in here for our axolotls. However, I went out and I found um, I spent <laughs> spent some time and I found a coral wreath area. Well, guess what? This guy doesn't have silk touch, so I couldn't really get anything I needed. So that was like, okay, well, we need an enchanting table for that. And an enchanting table, we need books. And books, we need leather. And leather, we need a farm. So today, we're building a barn. I know. <laughs> it was kind of a roundabout way to get there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use... I think we're going to use these spruce. Um, and then I'm going to also use the deep slate that we had going on because, uh, like, why not? And I like the tiles, so we're going to go ahead and use those. And then let me see. I should have some stairs, things like that. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go mess with this. Um, now, you're going to notice I do have some tools here. I made these for um, collecting the wood and collecting some more deep slate and um, doing some, a little bit of mining. These aren't nothing, not the super fancy efficiency one and efficiency two because I had like literally no levels. So uh, don't worry about those. Those aren't the tools that we're going to be getting here um, for a while. But. Let's see here. So the barn, the barn, the barn, the barn. I'm thinking, let's go ahead. Let's start with this. Um, let's get a, let's get like a little central area going here. So something like that. And then, okay, hold on. How many? So I want probably, what the heck? My screen is like freaking out. What are you doing? So I probably want a two block center. So let's say this is gonna be the two block center right here. So one, two, two block center, one, two, there. Is it gonna be too big? No, I think that'll be big enough. Um, actually, that might be a that might be a hair big. No, it's never too big. It's never too big. Okay, so we're gonna go like that, and then let's just go down this way. I don't know, like right here maybe. I'm marking the inside pillars because what we're going to do here, is that right? Nope. It's this one. Okay. Um, I'm marking the inside pillars because what we're going to do is we're going to build up pillars going up inside of here. And then we're going to have our pens on the outside. And this is going to be like the middle inside of our barn. So each section is going to be, let's do like what? One, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? Let me see how wide this thing is all together. So it's 16 across. Okay, so this is actually kind of what I came up with here. This is roughly, I think that'll work. I think it'll work because then we could put a small pen here, larger pen here, small pen here, small pen here, large pen, so on and so forth. Um, unless we want to do storage on one side, then we could do storage on one side because how many animals do we have? Let's see, we've got chickens, we've got pigs, we've got sheep. We've got cows, chickens, pigs, sheep, cows. Do we have, we have horses? I mean, so like this would leave us for six pens. I think that'll probably work. I think that'll probably work out pretty good. I think it'll work good. Okay. So now what we need to figure out is I need to figure out how tall I want this. And I'm going to have to figure out like how to get up there. So let's go ahead. Let's hop up here and let me go ahead and make this a little bit taller. So like I think that was I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. Something like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring these all the way across. What just hit me? What? I don't even understand what just hit me right now. Okay, so there's my kind of like layout for the barn so far. That's gonna be like the uh, the middle center structure, if you will. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as decoration wise. I think what we're gonna do is I was actually thinking about stripping these interior ones. Like that, leaving these ones. Actually, let's go ahead and strip these ones too. And we'll leave the... Um, 
Yeah, we'll leave the top ones. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, we'll leave the top ones done. Um, and then we got to figure out how we're going to do the um, the roof here. And then we're also going to have some supports on the outside for the roof as well. Okay, so I like how that looks. Now, we need to figure out the fencing. Um, I want to get the fencing laid out so we can figure out how big the, how like how far out the roof needs to go. Because I'm thinking the roof is going to go like basically up like this, up, down. You know what I mean? Something kind of like that. I don't know. We'll see. Again, I, I'm not a builder, so <laughs> I have really no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying though. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna compare fences now. Um, because I have spruce fence, we could do spruce fencing or we could do oak fencing. So, that's spruce. That's oak. Mm, I feel like the lighter oak fence. I feel like I like the lighter oak fence a little bit better. I feel like this is two samesies, you know? So we're going to need to grab some oak. We'll do that. Okay. Okay, so now we need to figure out, like, the appropriate width of these things. So if I bring them back... Because, like, if it's too wide, it's going to look a little... Oh, actually, that looks... That looks like perfect. That actually looks just about perfect. Um, how many was that actually? Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucky number seven. Okay, so let's bring these back seven. And then we'll bring them all over that way. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of um, instead of doing all seven, we're gonna do something a little creative here. We're gonna do something extra fancy. We're gonna bring this one out. Um, like three more because this is the center big one so we'll bring that one out just a little bit just so they're not all the same size you know like if they're all the same size then they're boring but if they're not all the same size then they're not boring okay so like that should be that fence there and then this should be here okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get these fences all set up I do have to clear out this dirt though. That's that's not too bad though. Um, and then we'll probably end up, I'll have to redo this whole hillside right here because it's just not gonna look good like this. But all right, I'm gonna get through this dirt and I'm gonna get these fences laid out and then we'll have like the rough idea of how the barn, um, this side of the barn is gonna look and then we'll have to uh, go ahead and do the, the roof and well, I mean, I would say stock it right now, but I'm gonna have to go out and find all the animals. So <laughs> maybe stock it, maybe not. Okay, so all the fences are out. Um, we have a new Enderman friend, and I feel like it looks pretty good. Like, see how, see how, like the the, the by not keeping it symmetrical, it kind of looked a little bit better. Um, also, I did figure out where I'm going to put gates in. We're going to put gates in on the far sides on these, center two on these, and far sides on these. Now, I'll probably end up throwing a piece of carpet on all of these just so we can get in and out of there super easy. Um, but I'm going to try to figure out. Like, I'll probably try to hide it with like a like a hay bale or something maybe maybe we'll throw a hay bale like on the, on the outside of these i don't know we'll see uh okay so there's that but now we need to focus on the roof and i would also like um something else i actually really want to do here and i do have i have the spruce for it is i actually want to use some barrels but that that will come we'll get that later we'll do the barrel stuff later so uh, let's go ahead and let's figure out how we're gonna do the roofing on here and kind of go from there so I think we're gonna use some deep slate walls and slabs and stairs. Um, we're gonna, it's all gonna be deep slate stuff because like I wanna keep like in a, a common theme here. So let's do this and let's get the brick walls. And we have tile slabs. I have a few tile slabs. Let's go and get another thing of tile slabs. I like the tile slabs more than anything. So let's go ahead and get tile slabs down in here. Let's go ahead and get uh, those down in here. And let's kind of figure out where we're going to put this at. So I was kind of thinking we would start right here. Of course, I can't get on there. Something like that, maybe three high on each side and then go from there, go up. But I feel like we're gonna need more supports than that. So like maybe on these as well. Yeah, that might that might work out. I 
Okay, so now comes the fun part. Oh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make this happen. And it's about to be nighttime. Let's go sleep instead. Okay, so there's kind of my roof line a little bit. Um, I didn't want it to slope too fast, and then it kind of like, so it kind of flattened out here, and they kind of went up a little bit faster. So um, I like that, I, and it, it is centered, so I should be able to copy basically the same thing on this side, and then fill the whole thing with deep slate, which luckily I have quite a bit of deep slate, but I don't know that I have that much. Um, I have to go and... Uh, See if we can't borrow some deep slate from old, old Trace over there. Because he, he said he has chests full of deep slate that he doesn't need. So, might have to borrow some of that. But I'm going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to copy this on this side. So, this whole line is done. And then, basically, I can just go. I can shoot out to the other side. And then, it should be symmetrical all the way across. Um, and then, what I'm going to do from there is we'll probably end up texturing it a little bit better. Because, like, this whole front end is super flat. Um, we'll come in and texture it up with stuff like that. So, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, figured out now. Okay, so symmetrical other side looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and run this all the way out. So that way it basically covers the entire roof of here. And then uh, we'll work on detailing it later. I'm going to, you know, blanket it with the stuff and then we'll add details later. So I'm going to need a lot. And I mean a, a lot of these um, slabs. All right, so we got half the roof on here, and I gotta say it looks pretty cool. It actually, it actually looks pretty cool. So, um, I think what I might actually do with this this roof here, because it's it's gonna be very dark, right? Is I think we might actually give it a little bit of the glowberry treatment, <laughs> um, where I'm. Oh, also I forgot somebody mentioned that if you use shears and you cut these, it'll actually stay wherever you cut them. So we'll have to figure that out. But I'm actually thinking about giving it the glowberry treatment where we go ahead and put glowberries in, maybe some moss blocks, you know, kind of make it look like it's a little ruined, a little mystical, a little foresty kind of thing. Because I feel like with these glowberries and stuff like this, I feel like it makes it look um, like, like, you know, a little bit more fantastical, like fantasy kind of stuff. So I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of neat. And it's a great light source too. So um, we might go with that. But I think... Okay, so I have some more slabs. Um, we went through quite a few slabs. And I'm going to need some more stairs and some bricks. So I need a couple more things, and then we should be able to go ahead and get this thing finished up here. Okay, we are on the official last piece of the roof. All right, there it is. The whole roof is done. Look at all the deep slate. I actually didn't have to borrow any, which is super amazing. Um... But there she is. Okay, let's take, hold on, let's take this dirt down. This dirt makes it look terrible. Uh, let's get this dirt out of here, and then let's actually take a peek at what we got going on here. Like I said, I think we need to bury, bury eyes it. And then I also need to, um, I think what we might actually do here too, is I might extend. Yeah, we are. We're going to extend this off both sides a little bit. Um, so it's peeking out a little bit more, but yeah, that's going to be super cool. Oh, I am loving it. Okay. So let me go ahead. Let me get on the roof over here and then, um, let me get that made and then you'll see it'll look so much better this way. Okay. So the overhang is done. Let's go and see what this looks like. I originally went out too, but I didn't like how it was looking. It was looking like a little too much. Um, okay, so that looks better. That looks a little better. That looks a little better. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so we'll go with that. I think I will do a little detailing in here. I'm thinking about actually um, maybe bringing this middle part out just here. I don't know. We'll see. But that is for the most part the design actually shoot why did i do that i ain't gonna need these because i was gonna go up there and uh do the moss treatment to it as well let's see is that enough to get up huh. no not quite okay so i can get up there now um, i probably should go ahead and make a ladder to constantly be able to get up there but i need i need glow berries and i need actually some moss so i'm thinking what i'm gonna do is grab that block of moss right there and then do i have any bones i'd like to go get i'd like to get some bone meal and do that some more berries actually you know what that reminds me let's pop down into here 
And let's see if these guys grew because they should have a whole bunch of, uh, well, hopefully have a bunch of glowberries on them. How are these looking? <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. So let's go up here. We're going to harvest them right from the top. Like that. And then we're going to go down and grab them. Oh, darn. I don't have a sword with me. I have an axe. Oh, my gosh. There's so many creepers, too. With the quickness. With the quickness. Ha-ha! I made it. <laughs> Suckers, you can't get me now. How many berries? We got 19. Very nice. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I need some bones. I mean, I could harvest some bones back there, but <laughs> I'm not armored up. I have, I only have iron chest plate now because I, uh, I <laughs> may have died at one point. So that's besides the point though. Completely besides the point. Uh, but I need more, I need bones so I can get moss. I have one bone meal. Okay, you know what we'll do? Let's just do the berries for now. And then we'll do, um, and then we'll focus on the moss later. Once I have the ability to maybe, can we attach it to these? Uh-oh. These aren't going to want to attach hardly anywhere, are they? Really? Yeah, these aren't going to attach very many places. From over these fences. Like that. And then let's see. It's like this line right here is like the only line that will allow them to uh, to grow. Oh, not good. And I only have one more, so let's go ahead and hang that right there. Okay. So here's our little barn area. Now, um, also another thing with the silk touch is I'd love to, I'd, I'd actually like to get some puzzle. I know everybody hates puzzle, but I'd like to actually put it in here because it looks like trampled down like dirt from in a barn, you know? So that's what I'd like to get in here, but uh, we'll have to see. So hopefully those light up a little bit. Um, I'm thinking we're definitely gonna have to have some uh, torches or lanterns in here, but... That should work. And then, you know what? Let me go grab, I have some hay. Let me grab some hay and then, you know what? Maybe we'll just go ahead and f do this with the shovel for now. So let's kind of make our way over here. I don't want this in my offhand. Let's kind of just go. I'm just trying to mess with it a little bit everywhere, you know? Doesn't need to be perfect, just kind of a rough outline. And then what I'm thinking is that in here, this whole area will be done because I mean, we're going to be, there would be, if this was a barn that was active, there'd be a lot of movement, a lot of walking in here. So there really wouldn't be any grass left inside this area. Um, we'll leave the grass in with the animal area because it makes them happy, right? All right. So that looks pretty, yeah, see that looks like a barn. I want those glowberries to start growing so we can get some lights in there. You know what else we could do here? We're going to do one there. Oh my gosh, yes. We're going to put lanterns on all of these. Once we have lanterns. That will look epic. And then we can go ahead and do the insides. So the animals will have lights. I think that will look awesome. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll put lanterns on those once we get them. I should go and see if I can find some lanterns somewhere. Oh, that's gonna look super cool. Yeah, I'm gonna like that. I'm, I'm really like that. Okay, let me go grab some, uh, let me go grab some hay bales because we have some hay bales. So let me grab some of those, throw those down as some decorations. And then we need to get animals in there, but I don't wanna get animals in there until we get light in there. And then we also need to throw some gates, of course. 
Um, oh, actually, you know what? You may be asking, what's going on here? Well, that's future expansion stuff. Um, I was kind of looking and digging. I dug all this out and I was trying to figure out like where we're going to future expand to. And I thought this might actually be kind of cool. So I um, have like a window coming out over here. But this is far future stuff. Um, I'm going to work on this on my own because I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. And I have plenty of space as it is. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's grab some hay bales. I'm actually going to take half of these. No, you know, I'm going to take all of them. <laughs> 64 hay bales might actually uh, not go as far as you think it is. Uh, of course, it's going to be dark. I love the barn already. I already I already like it. I already like it. I think it's cool. Um, oh, we also need to hang lanterns on the corners of the outside things, too. Okay, so we got a little bit of hay bales in here. Um, let's see. I want I don't know if I want to actually put any inside of it or not. <laughs> because like they might escape. So we got some hay bales there, we got some in here. I like this, it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and let's just throw uh maybe like a you know, maybe one like right there. Something like that. Nothing super crazy. And then what I was actually thinking is oh look at one of them turned into uh glowberries. Wonderful. And then what I was actually thinking is maybe turning oh, if i take that off it's it's gonna be gone forever it's gonna be gone forever is actually oh if i put this over here though things are gonna be able to get in i was actually thinking about putting like a pile kind of like right in here maybe something like that oh my gosh and then this could be <gasps> this could actually be used to get on the roof Super sneaky, like, you know? Uh, and then let me go ahead and remove. Let's see, where's our shovel? Let's go ahead and remove this. So it looks like there's just a giant pile. Hey, but it will let me get up here to do anything up here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Oh, this is super cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm already loving it. Like, and I feel like the berries are even working. Even the berries are working. Now, you can't crawl up these, right? Like, these aren't like a, a crawl up. I Shoot. They absolutely are. Hmm. You know what that means? That means that this is not going to work because animals are going to be able to crawl up them as well. Oh, you know what? Let's just leave them all for now. We'll leave them all for now because we don't have animals in here yet. We'll leave them all for now. And then I will go out and take the ones that are inside of the pens. Oh, that's right. And I don't know if animals can climb. I think they can. Like if they can, up, if they get up here and they just start jumping, like I think that they'll hit it and I think they'll crawl up it. So oh, that's good. That's not going to work. Might just have to, f might just have to fill inside here. And then, I mean, if we shear them so they can't get up to them, that might work too. You know what, I'm gonna see if I have any lanterns. I'd like to get some lanterns up. Okay, I used all my iron and made all my lanterns. <laughs> I have no iron left. That's okay, we'll find iron later. It's more important to have lanterns. Yes, yes, lanterns are more important. So, should be able to hook all of these to here. I don't even know, honestly, if I have enough. So let's do, um, let's just do the inside ones to start with. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and hit these ones. That looks pretty good. And then we'll hit this one and we'll have two left. And we'll throw those onto the center ones. We'll throw one there and throw one here. Oh, that looks so much better. I love that. I love that. That is so cool. And then, um, so we're missing a lantern there, we're missing a lantern there. And then I'd also like to throw some running in the middle too. I don't know if that's gonna be enough light to, to keep things from spawning in here. So we might actually throw, I might actually throw some like lanterns or something like that over here because I don't want things to spawn over here. But I know that they changed it. So that is, as long as there's a light level of like anything, then it's good. Okay, so like these are not actually producing. No, I didn't mean to hit the top one. Darn it. These aren't producing any sweet berries or any of the, the little glow berries. And I don't know why. 
I don't know if there's a certain thing that you have to do for them. If there's just like a, a certain chance, but none of them are actually producing, so. But either way, it looks cool, it looks neat. And uh, I think we're about ready to get our, our animals in here. So <laughs> this is going to be super cool. Oh, shoot. There is one more thing. Oh, there's always one more thing. You know what? Next episode. We'll do it in the next one. So, um, yeah, that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Consider subscribing. It does help out the channel. And I really do appreciate it. And let me know, what do you think of the barn? Um, again, I'm not a master builder or anything. I'm just an average guy playing Minecraft, having a good time. So... Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Next episode, like I said, we're going to fill the barn. And um, yeah, there's going to be another thing too. But I feel like I need to do something here. I think it's going to be like some kind of wood thing coming out. And like maybe like a, a, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.